Hi, I'm John. This is my show, A Sports Reckoning. So, I've spoken about a couple items that are Michael Jackson collectibles that I've had my own. They're too expensive for me and stuff, right? But I don't mind sharing this information. And it's, it's one of these things that's like, when I'm telling you that there's something special, and it's one of these things that's like, I knew this album was special, but now that it, it's sold, and it's like, so now it's gone. And it's like, where, where is it? And shit, right? Now it's gone. And now it's got me wondering and shit. And I'm thinking about it more. And so I've been thinking about this. And it's like, um, man, this might have been the, this is like, a, it's a true one of one And see, Michael Jackson has thousands of autographs out there. And he's got a really elaborate out, autographs. One of the things, because I, I had mentioned the thing about, like, if you had like a triple autograph card with Michael Dan and Smokey. I was saying even if they were on stickers, it would be really cool. But there's a thing with like Michael Jackson's autograph is so like flamboyant and overly dramatized and shit. I don't even know if you could put it on a sticker, his autographs like so there might not even be any sticker autos out there. I don't I don't his it's really weird. And it's one of the things if if you people have a sign kinda of like flipping Steve type of thing. I don't know if you've seen the video I'd made on my page. I had an a handwriting expert anal uh, he was analyzing Michael Jackson's autograph. He was doing this alone, had nothing to do with my story. He was just analyzing Michael Jackson's autograph and Michael Jackson's writing. And, it, and the, what he was saying was very impressive. And so what I did is I put his analyzing of Michael Jackson's autograph, I put it over a copy of this uh, album. I put it over this. And, uh, and the album has sold now, you know? So it's like one of those things, like, I wonder if I influence somebody to get it and shit, you know? But whatever, whoever got it scored and shit, right? Because now, and like, I've thought about it, especially with that expert analyst, and I'm thinking about it, and it's like, I'm actually thinking now that this is, from what I've seen, this is the best Michael Jackson autograph I've seen. And, you know, we, we talk like in sports cards, we talk like one of ones, okay? So this, now, if you had a Michael Jackson autograph on a Thriller album, I mean, I mean, I'm saying actually just off the top of my head, I would say it's probably fair to say, safe to say that there's probably a thousand of those out there because I've seen them. They're for sale. You can get them and they're not cheap either. Right. But there's probably like a thousand of those. Right. So this one, this one, what it, what it is and see like with the we are the world, see with Michael here, Diana, and then Smokey's here. Right. So this one. Michael Jackson, and it's only Michael Jackson's signature, which that's better. I mean, it'd be good to have, like, Diana, because you could still go. It's one of these things, like, right now. It's like, right now, if you could go have Diana Ross and Smokey Robinson sign this album, would that, would that, it's, this is that kind of stuff. Would that increase the value of this, or would it decrease the value, right? There's all those, like, little... Zoom in a little bit more so you can see a little bit better. You can see that shine on Smokey. That shine is on the album. That's not like me shining on it. That's like on the, that's weird too. There's a light on the face of Smokey. I, you know, I never even noticed that. But now that I'm looking at it and I see it's like, it's like the face of an angel and shit, right? It is weird. There's a shine on his face on the album. And this is the kind of those weird little things that's like, well, Michael would have seen that. Is that the kind of thing that, uh, cause you know, I, Michael might have had some, you know, because this is, Michael was very involved with this. This is a big thing. He had a lot to do with this, right? And now when I'm looking at it, it's like, God damn, his face is like shining like an angel and shit, right? Why is his face shining like an angel on the album? And that's on the album. That's there. Huh. I see. Now I got to look at it. I just, yeah, you can't see it there. Maybe it's, I don't know. Why is it? Maybe it was the person. Maybe it's not there. Okay, maybe I was just making that. Maybe that's just the person who took this photo had a shine on. Okay, because I was like, why the fuck? I was like, what's that? I've never seen that before. But now this picture, the way it's making it look, it's like, oh, <laughs> like what the fuck? I'm like, why is his face shining like an angel and shit? <laughs> okay, but no, that must have been just from the person who took this photo. That's not on the album. I was going to trip if that was on the album. I was, I was, I was like, why haven't I seen that before? <laughs> Shit, that's funny as hell. Okay, so what happens is, because I'm, I'm always looking at these couple items. These are a couple things I had pointed out and stuff, and I was kind of like hinting to Flip and Steve, but Flip and Steve, he hasn't mentioned anything to this, so I'm assuming he didn't buy this, right? Or else he probably would have mentioned it to me because this is big and shit, right? So um, I looked up, I checked on the 130 point and stuff, and so this sold for 3,500 bucks. 
somebody paid. They were asking five thousand for it, the person, and uh, and it did sell. It's, it's the person they made. They made a deal. So whoever they paid thirty five hundred dollars. So this did sell for thirty five hundred. But so now. Um, that autograph, like I, said, I was saying, is that if you added Smokey and Diana's autograph to this autograph, would that would that increase the value or de decrease the value? And I actually think that it's more valuable just the way it is. This is a true one of one, like we talk about in sports cards, the one of one. There's only one like that. Like I said, there's got to be a thousand albums of Thriller signed by Michael Jackson. And in which way could he sign that different? I mean, he could write a little thing to make it special and make it say something, which could be a little bit more, more unique and stuff. But this... Michael Jackson used his signature and completely circled Smokey Robinson with his autograph. See here? He completely, see, see the circle? So with that J, he comes up and he, I mean, there's no accident about that because it's perfectly circling Smokey. Okay, so, and see, this is the thing. Michael, there, that's Michael Jackson's autograph. So there's no mistaking about this. Michael did that. And on this album, he used his autograph to circle Smokey Robinson. That's a true one of one Michael Jackson autograph. And if you actually look at the autograph on this one, it's really clean. It is beautiful. It's a beautiful, like the writing of, I think Michael actually took an extra little second. Cause like, like Michael, I've seen him signing his autographs. He can almost sign it like where he doesn't even look. He can just like do it. I've seen him sign in so much where he's his hand, his hands just moving. And he's kind of just like talking to the crowd and he'll just be like signing. He's got the motion in his hand. I've seen him do it a lot. This autograph though, looks to me, looks cleaner. It looks like you can see that he took that extra little time and he made this beautiful autograph, right? And he circles Smokey with the J. This is a one of one Michael Jackson autograph. This is totally different. Now that it's sold, it's one of those things that I'm looking at it. See that shine on his face? How it just, it's, it's the person who took the picture though. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so funny when you see it like this. It's like, he looks like an angel right there. I was like tripping out. I was like, is that on the cover like that? Holy fucking shit. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn. But on this one, it totally looks like, it's so funny how it looks like he's just like an angel all lit up. <laughs> ah, it's so funny. Oh, trip. Sometimes shit like that trips me out. When you see something, I'm like, wait, what's that? <laughs> And my dad's like, no, 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 that must have been just the person taking the photo and shit, but it's just funny how it looks like that. But this autograph, I'm just like, this is like, the, this is a one-on-one -on -one Michael Jackson autograph. This is totally different. This is so far above and beyond, so far more valuable. And if you people haven't seen on my other page, I have this autograph and I'm playing the expert analysis guy analyzing Michael Jackson's handwriting, the expert. Like, and like I said, the guy has nothing. He has no knowledge of my story. This is eight years ago the guy was doing it, right? So he had no knowledge of my story, nothing. Had nothing to do with my story. And then when you see him analyzing Michael Jackson's autograph, and then when you see, because what I did is I played his analyzing it over this photograph of this video. And when you see that, it's like, oh my God. Michael Jackson's autograph, there's a lot of uh, emotional uh, like e expression through his auto there's a lot of his his personal trials and tribulations are expressed through his autograph and the guy expressed it incredibly the guy explained it incredibly and then when you see when you take it into the context of the guy explaining and then you take it in the context of how Michael placed his autograph on this photo and circled Smokey it's like whoa we're in a whole new ball game here this one is like is like when you talk about collectibles and things that are valuable and stuff and it's, so it's like this was the one i should have made more a bigger deal about it i should have like forced flip and steve to get this i should have been like i should have really really stressed dude i i i it was one of those things i it's and now as i'm looking at now like i said now that it's sold and i'm looking at it and i'm and it's like it's hitting me in a whole different way and i'm just like Oh my God, this, that this was even out there. And I'm telling you, this is a one of one. And I, I actually like me personally, I'm labeling it as the best Michael Jackson autograph I've seen. That's the most, it's not just the cleanest, best autograph. It's the most important one I've ever seen. And I'm looking, I've seen thousands of them and I, I've seen so many different ones, but this is the best, this is the best one I've seen. 
It's a true one of one. This is a one of one. This is unlike anything. It's like, so what's the value? When my story breaks and then this comes out, all the other autographs can go run. This one is, this is the best one. So I, I wanted you guys to see that and stuff and let you know it did sell and shit, right? And I'm trying to explain. And so what I'm kind of trying to show you people is like, what's like the collective card collectible community is like, look, if I find people that are interested that you, if all, because that lets me go look search. I like to search. It's like just for fun. I like to see what collectibles are out there. I like to familiarize myself with the collectibles market and get more familiar with the pricing and what's available, all that stuff. So I like to con I like to search that stuff. But it's one of those things that kind of frustrates me too. If I'm not buying in and if the other people aren't buying in, I tell them it, it kind of frustrates me so I don't do it. So it's one of those things that if I can get people saying, hey, go search. If you find something, yeah, I might be interested in buying that. And then maybe and then I can make a little video and say, okay, look at these are three things that I found that are really interesting that have a different angle when you look at it from my perspective of the story. There's, some, there's a whole new thing here, dimension of what's going on. And like I said, this one, this was one of the things I found. I found this one in another badge, and the badge was the thing that Flip and Steve was interested in and stuff, and he almost got it, but it's expensive and shit. The, the badge thing they're asking 10 grand for, right? And it's like, and I do like the badge, and I'm gonna show that here in a second and stuff. But this was this was the one. This one is the this was the one that the, the one that got away and stuff. It's like this was the one. This this was the one that was like it was like one of those things that you, I mean, I knew it. I knew it was bitching and shit. I, I marked, I showed it, I said, I, I showed it in the video. I tried to highlight it saying this is special. But now as I'm looking at it and I, and it's just like, it's just like, oh, it's way bigger than, it's even, I knew it was big and stuff, but now I'm like, I'm like, it was even, it's bigger than that. And I like, I'm actually putting on the level saying like, I think this could be considered Michael Jackson's best autograph. His, and then it's a true one of one auto because the placement of the auto and the circling of Smokey, I, I doubt that there's any another one like this. So you're talking about a true one of one that's directly connected to my story. This is a big deal. This album is one of those things like it's hard to say that it could ever pop. And it's like, how could that possibly ever be worth a million dollars? Right. How could that possibly? But it's like one of those things that's like, I don't know. I know enough to know that things that are really special and really desirable can go, it can get nuts. If you get people going for it and the people are like saying that is the one, that's, that's the one. Once it gets acknowledged that that's the one, then what can the price of something like that go for? And so from what I've seen, like out of all the stuff of like stuff I've seen, this, this is the, like I said, I, I would rather have, when I start comparing this, it's like, would I rather have a, now there's certain like Michael Jackson gloves. There might be a certain one here or there that's super, but he would have had a lot of gloves, right? But it's like simply like, these are like things, if they put these things down in front of you, would you rather have a Michael Jackson glove or would you rather have this Michael Jackson album? And so like me, it's not even close. I want the album. So that's the level of like, what are we talking about? Of what kind of collectible? What is the value of this thing? You know, when you start looking it down and saying, what would you choose? And this, I, I this is like bigger than everything. This is like, you would have to get the top notch, most like Real, you would have to be like the actual jacket Michael Warren beat it, like the actual beat it jacket. You're talking about like super iconic things, like so, like then it has, you know, stuff that's got super rare that I would have to. But this would be like comparable on the. But this is like different because this is Michael Jackson him himself expressing his inner like his inner emotions and his inner secret. This is totally different. Like a jacket is just a jacket. This is Michael Jackson's soul. I'm telling you this, I'm, when I'm looking at it, it's just like, ah, uh, this is a whole different thing. The way he circled this on, and there's, like I said, it's probably a one of one, which you're talking about Michael Jackson's expressing of his inner soul and his pain that that's his real father and he circles them. You get to feel all of that. That's valuable. That's different than just a jacket that's cool and it's iconic and yeah, he wore it and stuff, right? But this is an actual expression of Michael Jackson's soul, of the hidden secret of what this his burden he was bearing all this time. If, like I said, this is this why it's so valuable because it's it's bringing up all these emotions and, it, and I, I can conjure like the feeling and the emotion of Michael signing it. That shit's valuable. It creates all that stuff. It's exciting and you can just like ugh, it's it's just like ah oh. I'm just like oh man that thing is awesome. So I wanted to show Flip and Steve something here because this other thing came up. So 
because Flip and Steve under, will understand there's a crew pass, and I'm gonna show you the other one too really in a second and stuff, right? But so a crew pass from the USA for Africa, just see it says crew pass, right? But this thing is, it's like brand new. There's no markings on it and no markings to it all because I'm gonna show you on the other one, right? But so this one, no markings, completely brand new. So how do we even know that that was actually there? Like, I, I, where's the evidence to prove to me that that is legit? I don't know. I don't see any identifying marks that would completely hundred percent unless unless there was a guy saying I worked there and this was my crew pass. You would have uh, you would have to have an eyewitness testimony to verify that that was actually there because otherwise, how come you couldn't just make that right? But this just went off at an auction. This sold an auction and it had twelve bids on it and it sold for a hundred fifty two dollars dollars you know so that badge that's just a badge that doesn't have any do, do I know by looking at it do I know that it was there I, I don't see anything that completely proves that it was there I don't see it and so people still paid hundred and fifty two dollars for that badge it's just a clean badge it's nothing right but so the other badge that's out there is this one. Now you see it's the same thing. USA for Africa, it says crew, okay? And it's got autographs on it to more. But this one on the back side of it, see it's got this 122, okay? That's what makes me, uh, makes me question that other one because it's like, okay, well this one, you can see there's a 122 on it, which makes me think that the, they were, the crew passes were numbered that the people that were in the crew passes that were actually there, that they had number, that makes me think that the crew passes were numbered. So how do I even know that that other one is even real? Because this one's got the number on the back, so I don't even trust that that other one was real. Like I said, and it sold for 150 bucks, right? Okay, so this one though, because like I had just showed you that we are the world, it was such a unique moment in time and shit right and that experience of that song and the joining of everybody together and like how michael's there and diane is there and Smokey's there and like Smokey didn't get a solo part in the song but i have heard him explain that he said he he said michael asked me uh to do michael asked me to do a solo part and he said but i had some other family obligation i wasn't able to stick around and get that done and shit right so that's why he didn't get a solo part in the song or on the video and shit right because there is something like that that i have seen that part and shit right but so now getting michael jackson and diana ross dual autos <laughs> this is like so this is what i say is like things that are extremely valuable because there can't be that many I, I know that there's some out there. I know that there are they're out there and stuff, but they they've got to be somewhat limited and stuff, right? And if you got just a photograph and they were signed by Michael and Diana, like for a charity thing, like I said, that doesn't really you don't get the emotional connect. There's something about it that there's emotion. Now it might look better than this past. That's the other thing. Now the picture will look better than what this past will, but this past is a iconic was at a historic moment, and since it's signed. I think that that dates the signatures most likely what your my understanding of how this passed because the other signatures on there like so there's Bob Dylan at the bottom because the other people on there are all top-notch people too but everybody there was top-notch and shit right but so on the front you've got uh, I think it's Willie Nelson and there was I think it's Harry Belafonte and um, it might be like Bruce Springsteen or some, but there was somebody else on there. I can't remember the other one, whatever. But so there's, there's a, that's the other people on there. There's a, or this could be Belafonte. This might be Bruce. Looks like a B there. But so the yeah, others, but see, these people were all in attendance at this event, right? So, and with them having them all signing it and the way it looks and it looks old, it looks like it was signed at the event, which to me increases the value you know, and it makes it all legit that we know that it was a real crew pass and it was, it was, somebody on the crew used it and got their signatures because it's like scratched up it's not in perfect condition it looks like totally this is a crew pass a person got signed at the thing and it's one of those things that's like look at it's like okay who signed that first it's like we don't know the diana ross or the michael jackson right we don't know who signed it first i you might be able to actually tell because i can see in the m it goes over the line in the d and then the bob dylan you can see that the way if you look at it, okay, it looks like, huh, I don't know, I'm looking right here, and it looks like Michael's line doesn't break, and but the deal in there, it, it looks like the clear part of Michael breaks through that solid, 
See, now I'm doing investigative stuff. <laughs> if you're actually analyzing shit. It looks like so. It looks like Bob Dylan's would have, would have been on there first. And then Michael's line up here looks solid. I don't see Diana's breaking through there. So it looks like Bob Dylan signed it and then Michael signed it. Oh, no. It looks like Bob Dylan signed it and then Diana signed it and then Michael signed it. That's what it, that's what it looks like. I'm sure actually by now looking at that, you can prove that though. You can see that actually that's something that can be proven. Yeah, I'm looking at the lines. Yeah, actually by looking at, yeah, it's, but you could tell. If you actually looked at it really close and stuff with an expert and stuff, you could see which lines crosses over the other lines. So you would be able to tell then the actual who signed it at what moment and stuff. Who signed it first and then who signed it next and who signed it. So by looking at it, me just doing a, a, just a brief little thing, it looks to me that either Bob Dylan or, or Diana would have been like on in there. But it looks like Michael is the last signature on there. It looks like Michael's, which could be a kind of a, a, a thing, too, where, like, the guy would have been more, like, timid to go get Michael's signature, right? He's kind of waiting. He's, like, waiting to get Michael's. I want to get Michael's signature. I want to get So he's getting the other ones, you know, maybe thinking to make it look cool so then when Michael sees it, you know. But then when Michael did see it and he saw Diana Ross, you can see that Michael would have wanted to sign it for sure. Mike, That's what Michael would have been like. Diana, okay, let me put my signature right here under Diana's and shit, right? Which is another thing with, like, my story, but it makes it cool and shit, right? I just think it makes it cool. It's a cool pass. It, it's a dual auto signed at the time. And if Michael signed it, the last one, you would see that Diana's signature was on there, and then Michael signed it, which would have made it desirable, too. It adds a little bit of element of it, too. So this thing's out there. I know it's valuable, but it's expensive right now. And it's not the most beautiful thing, but it's cool, right that other album though was the one that was the one i should have stressed like i should have pushed it to flip and steve i should have even pushed it harder and i should have made sure that he got that so he got a super a fucking awesome collectible and shit so i tried and shit but i didn't push hard enough and stuff and because this one was also involved so it kind of messed up but this is another one that's out there something that's really fucking cool because like i said these dual autos of michael and diana just just looking at it like just like that I think it's really, I think, I know it's undervalued for what it is now. It's definitely more value, but the guy's not going to let it go for cheap. I don't think you can touch it for under five grand. Like, and, and I think the other album was worth more than five, was better than this one, actually. I think the other auto is probably better than this one. But this one, it's one of those things I have to keep analyzing and thinking about it. And it's, but it's cool as fuck. I know it's undervalued and shit, right? So I just wanted to show you that, guys, to you. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.